Hello my friends, Bob Lee here. Today I'm going to be making some picture frames and uh, on this particular one I'm going to be run, ripping some small pieces off and then laminating some other pieces back on plus what I'm taking off of here back on. Uh, I'm going to make uh, maybe an inlay frame but kind of full stock width inlay. Uh, it's the little earth magnet here is going to give me the same measurement from the blade to this edge on all my pieces so that all my pieces are the same width. So let me get started and I'll show you what I'm doing. in place I'm able to get the same width piece here each time because I haven't moved this little earth Okay, my next uh, thing I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be gluing the piece of Paduk to the outside of that. And eventually I'll cut this frame down, but I, I want it to have that piece of Paduk on the inside of this thing and then have a border of uh, walnut on the outside. So it gives you that kind of a look there. So that's what I'm going to do next. Well, it looks like a jumbled up mess, but there's four boards for my next picture frame, all glued up. I know there's a lot of glue squeeze out there, but that'll all come off once I plane it down a little bit. Because I've got to take the thickness down a little bit to even them all up and everything. But that's going to be one of the frames. Okay, I got a little bit different frame glued up here. Just trying some different techniques on making different style of picture frames. This is all done with just straight boards and gluing them up and clamping them. Now these particular moldings I ran several months ago with my molding head, Craftsman molding heads, and I decided to take the wood pieces that I made and turn them into a picture frame. Okay, I have cut these corners at just a 45 degrees here and here. I didn't think I needed to show that, but I'm just making a simple picture frame 
with a reverse profile. Rather than going in, I'm going down and out towards the outside. Now I had to use a technique that I saw on YouTube from Izzy Swan to tighten up the joints on this picture frame. I had to fasten a square down to the bench to be able to pull the joints in tight because I've got a little bit of a sloping edge so I couldn't use my belted clamp to go around it. So I use the wedges over here and over here like I've seen Izzy Swan do before. So it works. It pulled all the joints in pretty tight for this picture frame. Right, friends, that's the end of part one. That's what I've been doing with the picture frames. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, share, leave a comment. Part two, next week.